First of all, the smart home started in 2006 out at CES. So we actually created this home um, for the Consumer Electronics Show. It was up in the parking lot of the convention center in Las Vegas. Um, where we ran it for the entirety of CES. People came in, toured, saw everything that was going on, and it was so popular that we decided, you know what, we want to hold on to this and keep it as a, as a permanent thing. So we cut it in half, dropped it on a couple of trucks, drove them out here to Cupertino, dropped it in the parking lot, put it back together, and that's how we ended up with a house right out here in front of the HP campus. Um, the house is designed to be as realistic as possible, so it's actually set up so that it's got running water, it's got um, regular electricity from a residential source, not from the commercial source, it's got a security system, an alarm system that's a residential alarm system, it's got residential internet rather than the network from HP campus, so as much as possible we've set this up to be like a real home, and as part of that we have also set it um, so that it's using technologies that have already been released. Not stuff that's in the future, not things that will someday be out there, but things that are already out there and available. This is built around the idea of being the home of today. Um, so as we walk through the home and you have questions on anything, understand that that technology is already out there. All right, we're going to start right here with the IPTV and talk a little bit about um, the importance of this technology. Hopefully you guys are hearing more and more about connected TVs or IPTVs. What it means is this TV is capable of reaching out onto the network and grabbing all of the different media that's available. So this can go and pick up um, all of my music, my photos, and my movies, just like you saw the pictures that are going there. None of that media is actually contained on the television. So nothing is hosted here. What it's doing is it's reaching out to all the different systems in the house, whether that's the desktop in the office or the touch smart in the kitchen or even onto my phone. And it's asking, hey, do you guys have photos? Do you have movies? Do you have music? If so, share it with me. It uses a protocol called DLNA. DLNA is actually an open protocol that's built into Windows. It's built into the Mac operating system. It's built into um, uh, many of the MP3 players, like the Zoom player here. It's built into many of the phones you'll have, into all three of the major gaming stations. So Xbox, PS3, and the Wii all have DLNA built into them. Um, you know, this is something that is pretty standard across the board, built into new, new devices, so that they can share all of the media that they have on them with any of the DLNA-enabled devices in the home. It makes it easy to transfer stuff around and, and have it available when you want it available. 